If you were ever to ask me what was the most disturbing movie I ever saw, I would definitely say A Clockwork Orange. Hello, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel. Today we got a figure from Yen Toys. It's basically Alex the Large from the movie Clockwork Orange, a 1-6 scale figure. And here it is the artwork that it comes with. Pretty cool with a lot of coloring going around here in the front. You got exactly the name of the movie. In the back you still got those wheels with its patterns. They use the real name of the movie even this is an unlicensed release. Anyway, let's see what we get inside. Here in the first layer we got our figure with a statue, a bunch of hands we got the bus too and is a mask and then in the second layer we got this beautiful wood display base and we got as well some other accessories let's take everything out and take a closer look so here we have all the accessories that come with our Alex the Large from the Clockwork Orange just taking a closer look here at the ends they look okay as a normal ends for one six scale figure you do have different ends for use with the accessories so i don't think there's a problem with that we got as well a beethoven bust as you can see the right eyelash is painted black but this is a iconic character for Alex as he really loves his music. But it's a very nice bust, it's very light, but I think the details are quite good. We got as well this kind of uh, cane sword that uh, they use when they go to uh, doing assaults or something like that. This one is a complete one and then you got the handle with the knife over there that I remember Alex used it during the movie. This is all made of plastic but the paint application in both are really good. We got as well a cup with the milk plus as they called it in the movie. It's kind of a tall cup but looks okay. Then we got this very peculiar mask that they use in the movie. You can see this longer nose. The mask comes with a elastic. It's easy to attach to the head sculpt. I think the figure will look great with this mask. And then we got this very, very sinister statue. I don't know why they made it so big. It's not 1-6 scale. Ian Toys just did this in like a ceramic material. It's all white, but it's a very odd shape and not a piece that I want in my display cabinet. And finally we got this beautiful wooden base. It's a bit heavy because it's real wood. And then with that metal plate here in the front, clockwork orange Alexander the Large, the display base really feels good, it's heavy and I do like the crotch grabber as well, it's in die cast, looks really premium, I do love the way they did the display base. As for our figure and starting here with the head sculpt, I'm going to be honest, the head sculpt does look a bit cartoonish, but I think it portrays Alex very well. Again, the right eye, the, the eyelash is painted black, the um, head you cannot remove is fixed, but then you can see the details in the in the hair, the strands of hair, they look pretty good. I think this figure looks better when you look up. The position of the eyes are a bit strange, but I still think it looks pretty scary. As for the outfit, it comes with his shirt all white, with the white suspenders as well. And then you have here these cuff links, like a bloody shot eyes. is the same as it was in the movie. And here you have this kind of... Um, Oh, I don't know what to call this with this bulge in the front is a very strange accessory and then the pants very tight and then just a normal boots. What I feel is the body is kind of muscular and the outfit fits very very well on this figure. I'm really happy with this. With this eye mask you can see how it looks like. It really looks goofy but it is the way they used it in the movie. I think I like more this. It portrays better the character, it depends on your choices. As for the body articulation, you will not have any problem, this is a strong body as I said before. The elbows work pretty well without any problem. Okay, the shirt is a bit tight, but the head sculpt rotates well, the front and backwards is a, a bit restricted, but still okay. Then on the legs you do have a ratchet joints that give you that double jointed knees. They are very very tight, I do like the body that Ian Toys used for uh, this um, Alex the Large. I think it looks pretty cool with the body. The outfit fits perfectly on it. And for the fans of this movie, I think this figure is really, really cool. But here we have our 
Alex the Large. I'm not using the statue as an accessory because I really think it's very very hot. But I think it's a very nice figure to play with. And again, if you are a fan of this movie, there are a lot of poses you can do. And it will look great on your display, especially with that beautiful wooden base. But that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this quick review. And I will see you in the next one.